All right, my grade nine students. So now our next lesson is what are binary compounds? Binary compounds are when two different elements combine together. When two com uh, when two different elements combine together, they are they form a binary compound. So only two. For example, if we have hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, so when hydrogen and oxygen combine together, you know they form H H two O, right? So if you have two atoms of hydrogen, right? So this is called, you know, this compound is called, it's a well-known compound, which is the a chemical formula for water, H2O. So binary compounds, when only two elements combine, they form a binary compound. And how do you name your binary compound? A lot of students find it really challenging uh, how to name uh, their compound. So I'm going to write down a few compounds and we'll try practicing uh how to name those compounds for example if i have uh this uh compound i know this is also a very well-known compound this atom uh, this element h stands for hydrogen and cl stands for chlorine and we call we don't say it hydrogen chlorine but we call this compound as hydrogen chloride all right, so the trick to name your uh, binary compound is we read this first element as is, the name as is, and the last element, the second element, we just add the I-D-E suffix at the end, I-D-E. For example, let's take, I'm just uh, writing down a, a random compound, a binary compound. For example, if you have um, H, um a g so we know hydrogen h stands for a hydrogen and a g stands for uh silver so how are we gonna name this uh, uh for uh, how are we gonna name this compound so this compound will be hydrogen we'll read it as is hydrogen hydrogen and this is silver we're gonna say silveride okay Silveride. So I'm just adding I E D. This is how you name your um, compounds, binary compounds, by adding I E D at the end. Again, some compounds had uh, what you call the number of atoms, right? Uh, so how do we name that? So although this is H2O is a chemical uh, name formula for water, but the actual chemical name for H2O is dihydrogen uh, monoxide monoxide so this is a chemical name for h2o di means two so we got di from here and mono means one so because there there's only one atom of oxygen so we call it that chemical name for H2O is dihydrogen monoxide. How do we know if it's di, tri, mono? So you know that one stands for mono, two stands for di, three stands for tri, four stands for tetra. So here you can do the research. And then if, for example, if you have uh, four, sorry, if you have h4 cl2 imagine i'm not sure if this is actual a uh, compound so i just made it so how we can name this uh compound as how many how many atoms do we have so four so we're gonna say tetrahydrogen tetrahydrogen this is di chloride chloride Okay, remember the IED suffix at the end and di comes from here, di. So tetra for tetrahydrogen dichloride. This is the name for this co binary compound. Why binary? Because it's only two elements. That's why it's called binary compound. All right, so this is, way, this is the way like how you can name your uh, chemical, uh, sorry, your binary compounds using these terms mono, di, tri, tetra, and for five, I guess we call, I'm not sure. I'll look up it for you guys. So this is the way you name it. I'm going to show you more ways 
So now I found it. It's penta <laughs> and six, like same as uh, our polygons, like hepta, uh, sorry, hexa, octa, all those are the names. So this is going to be hexa. All right. So I have this binary compound over here. So how are we going to name this compound? So we know this is carbon, uh, uh, ele uh, carbon uh, element, and this element is hydrogen. So we're going to name it, this is three. So tricarbon. So we're going to name it as tricarbon. Eight octa, octa hydrogen. So remember, I said we ended with the ide, ide as a suffix. So hyd, uh, hydride. So octa hydride. So tricarbon, tricarbon hy, octa hydride is the name of this uh, binary compound. All right. Hopefully you find this video useful and do practice with the names and this is going to go if there are uh, seven, seven uh, atoms, then we'll say uh, tricarbon uh, septa hydride because seven septa, some people say uh, hepta as well. So hepta, if it's nine, then nona. So if this is nine over here, we're going to read it as tricarbon nona hydride. So this way you can practice naming your binary compounds. All right. Have a good day.